play some goddamn Fallout Boy. Seriously, dude. Yeah. Seriously. Yeah. Just, I'm just so pumped about this game. I know, but when you show your real self, people will say you're being fake, so. Oh, sorry. Let me turn. <clears throat> people that go to see a reaction video are going to be like, hey, you're yeah. being fake because you're so enthused about it. Okay, go, go ahead. Let's do the intro. I'll be serious. The people want is very subtle and bland. Got it. Hello, I'm Ryan Wright. I'm Dan Seibert. Fallout 4 launch trailer. We're really excited about it. Really excited. There's blood. Blood and gore? Yeah. Tense violence. Strong language. I sure. hope they use the word cunt. Yes, um, use of drugs. I, Ooh. I'm really hoping for a little uh, couple LSD? needles. LSD? Ooh. I mean, sorry, too excited. How unfortunate. I couldn't hold it. Everything can change in an instant, whether or not you're ready. This wasn't the world I wanted, but it was the one I found myself in. So you have to just accept that. It's accept this it. time good. I'm ready. Because I know war. No war too. War never changes. I have a question. The only question that matters. How big is it? Would you risk your life for your fellow man? Even if that man is a synth? Is a what? I do this. I Beneath the common room, I don't know. There is a cancer. Known as the Institute. A malignant growth that needs to be cut before it infects the surface. Damn, dude. They're the real enemy. Not the Raiders. Not the super mutants. Not even those tools over in Diamond City. Don't shoot! I swear, I'm not a sin. For God's sakes, we're family! This is ridiculous. So will the truth be done. I forgot there's gameplay. <laughs> I do! Oh shit. Holy sh- Oh! Protect the people at a minute's notice. And decide our own future. Oh man, out of time. But Paul's not lost. This campaign will be costly. But in the end, we will be saving humankind from its worst enemy. Itself. So where is it? This institute. How do I get there? Whoa! Yeah. Oh my god! Haven't you been paying attention? You don't find the institute. The institute finds you. Let's go, boy. Seriously, why'd I get the Gatorade sign? It really bothers me. I'm, I'm a little mad at you. No, it really bothers me. Good. I hope I didn't upset all you Fallout fans. Oh my god! Yes! I want it. I've never played Fallout. I want it. But I know Dan's a, a fan of it Fallout. It looks so good. So I brought Dan here today to talk about Fallout 4 for you guys. So... Let me just Limit break it. the hate on me for not knowing. Let's just, let's just break it down. If you have a console, or when I think I don't I don't remember if the PC is dropping it. Yeah, I think the PC version is dropping at the same time. It doesn't matter. You buy it. I'm poor as fuck, and I can't do it right now. But you buy it. They showed off a lot of new guns, or they well maybe not a whole lot of new guns. There was the um, nuke launcher. They which, showed off some violence. They showed off some guns. They showed off some new characters, the lip syncing was a little off, whatever. I forgot I was watching a game trailer. I was really pulled into what was going on in this world that I was like thinking of that this was a movie and I was getting excited for it. Then I realized, oh, I got to figure out how to do all this. I, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I do think out of everything that I've seen so far for Fallout 4, this one has a little bit more story Sex attached to it. Sexiness. There was a, there was a lot more booty for you oh, in this yeah. one. That girl's ass at the end. 
I'm not gonna lie, it was good. Yeah, dude. It was really good. Oh god. I would anal pleasure her so much. Okay, well I'm out. I'm telling I'm talking DP anal. That's two penises in one butthole. It's real, you wanna watch a video? No, 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 no. You sure? No, I'm good. You don't wanna see it. I'm sure. It would be a funny reaction. I'm sure it would. Fans would appreciate it. I'm not. I'm not watching that. Come on. No. What, are you afraid you're going to get turned on? I was afraid too, Dan. I was afraid too. You got to just accept it, man. You got to just accept it. I mean, you never want to do that with Alyssa? Uh, and there were like zombie creatures in there. Yeah, the mutants. The mutants. I knew that from never playing the game. Mm -hmm. That was cool. I like a I like a good zombie vibe to anything. I really freaking enjoy watching that helicopter getting blown up. So it always feels like whenever we get to a launch trailer, it's always the best and brings the most hype. I mean, granted, it's like crunch time. They need to sell some fucking games right now. I mean, this comes out. I don't know. Probably on the release of this video or like the di next day. And this thing is, this is gonna set records. I, I have a good feeling about it. Everything that we've seen about it, the game looks great. It's got all of the familiar combat from Fallout 4 that we saw in Fallout 3 and New Vegas and all, well, not the second, the first one, those are totally different. But um, it just, everything about it is just, it's a making of a really good game. And now it's just a matter of like, is it going to function day one? And I hate, I hate that I have to say that about any game these days, but it's, it's got to be said because they, it's, they're big games. They're big files. Um, Ryan's just going to imitate what I do. Is that cool? Can you do that for me? Thank you. Um, it's to, like, there, if there's so much work that goes into this and they're so big that mistakes are going to get through. And it's just a matter of, is there going to be great, like game breaking glitches on day one? It might not. And if it runs smooth as hell, that just makes this game even better. I'm sorry, those kids outside, we asked them to be quiet and now they're making a lot of noise. Let's hope they don't fall out of the balcony. I appreciate the pun, but I don't appreciate the child murder. You will in one minute. Anyway guys, thanks for tuning into the channel. Mm. If you're new to it, you can subscribe today and become a Rejectabot. Yeah. And you can check out Dan's gaming channel. It's right here. It's right here. Okay. It's right here. The I button's right there. I kicked right the there. camera. I kicked the camera. The button's right mm -hmm. there. Later. Blowjob joke. Malik Clay. What's up? Hi, Ryan. My name is Malik Clay. And I'm an animator and story writer. I've been working on my own original anime series called Heat Wave. The uh -huh. reason I need a shout out is that since it's original and unprofessional, no one gives it a fair chance. Well, the fact that it's unprofessional. Yeah, never. You don't ever want to say that to someone because who wants to watch anything that's really unprofessional? My shit's unprofessional. I don't say it's unprofessional though because someone's going to want to watch it. Yeah. I mean, never, never say your shit's unprofessional. Just say it's like, you know, it's the start of something awesome. Yeah. Give it a fair chance. The real rejects are awesome. Stay blessed. And I love to feature in an episode. Mally Clay, I would love to be in an episode of your anime series. I think I could play like um, the, the crazy old grandpa. You, know? you would play the best crazy old grandpa. Yeah, and he'd be like kind of a pervert. Oh, know? yeah, totally. You know, like he's always hitting on the nurse and stuff. Oh, yeah. her boob, gets an erection, freaks them out, overdoses on Viagra. I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's like you get a really creepy vibe from him, but you're yeah. in like a kid show for some reason. Yeah, yeah, but like in, in the end, you know, it's, it's still grandpa and he's got good wisdom and can shoot energy beams from his eyes. Everyone, this anime series is called Heat Wave. Find Malik Clay and tell him. I wish to be on it. Mm. Mm. Do it. Mm -mm. Click this button, my dance penis. I hate my life. <laughs>